Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session in Dentistry and More. Today's topic is Developmental Disturbances of Teeth. So the Developmental Disturbances of Teeth basically uh, arranged in four categories. That is the disturbances related to size, second one is number, third one is shape or form and the fourth one is uh, which is involving formation of enamel and dentin. Uh, so the enamel and dentin uh, related disturbances we have already covered that was uh, enamel uh, involving amelogenesis imperfecta, dentin involving dentinogenesis imperfecta, dentin dysplasia and regional odontodysplasia. So now uh, we are seeing about uh, the size related developmental disturbances. So let's see what is uh, the size related problems that is the developmental problems associated with teeth. So developmental disturbances of teeth related to size basically divided into two categories that is microdontia and macrodontia. So the name itself gives the answer for it. One is micro and another one is macro. So we know what is micro and macro. Micro is nothing but smaller than normal. Macro is larger than normal. So teeth which are smaller than normal is microdontia. Teeth which are larger than normal is macrodontia. So in both categories we have three subdivisions that is true generalized microdontia, relative generalized microdontia, focal or localized microdontia. Similarly true generalized macrodontia, relative generalized macrodontia, focal or localized macrodontia. Let's see one by one. The first one is microdontia, that is true generalized microdontia. True generalized is actually the teeth are smaller than normal. The teeth actually are normal. It is commonly seen in pituitary dwarfism and which is very rare and teeth are well formed, but it is smaller than normal. The next one is relative generalized microdontia. So here the thing is there is relative microdontia. The teeth are normal or slightly smaller than normal but there is no obvious uh, microdontia. The teeth are actually normal or slightly smaller than normal. But the problem is the jaws are the jaws are little larger than the normal. So when comparing to a bigger or larger jaw, the teeth appears smaller, but actually it is a normal or slightly smaller teeth which are present in slightly larger jaws. So this is the point. The jaws are bigger. So it appears comparing with larger jaws, it is smaller. That is why this name, the relative generalized, it is comparing to bigger jaws it is appearing as micro teeth. So that is the relative generalized microdontia. Now we have the third category that is focal or localized. So it is a very localized condition. So focal or localized are very common comparing with these three subtypes that is lateral incisor and third molar. The lateral incisor microdontia is also known as peg lateral because there will be a conical shaped lateral incisor compared to the normal square almost square type lateral incisor because there will be converging of tooth incisally. A cone shaped crown will be in peg lateral. So this is the peg lateral. This is a normal tooth. This is central incisor, lateral incisor canine. So the normal lateral incisor will have close contact with mesial and mesial and distal side of mesial side of canine and distal side of central incisor. But in peg lateral, the problem is with the in towards the incisal edge, it goes tapering. There will be constriction or converging towards the incisal end. So this is focal microdontia this is commonly seen 
and uh, third molar also uh, commonly involved but it is not very clinically obvious only dentist is um, able to visualize it but since it coming in the anterior um, side the peg lateral is very visible and even the person also is well aware of his peg lateral rather than the third molar microdontia if the person has both so peg lateral is a microdontia or focal or localized microdontia which is common uh, with the third molar so it may be either one or two uh, will be present in a patient or person so while coming to macrodontia we have the same categories that is true generalized relative generalized or focal or localized so true generalized means there is actual bigger teeth compared to the normal size it is seen in pituitary gigantism the microdontia seen in pituitary dwarfism so we know what is dwarf and what is a gigantic person the person himself will be uh, having a bigger body or lower body comparably all the uh, body parts will be of that size if it is dwarf if it is a gigantic person so that is true generalized relative generalized the problem is patient is having or the person is having smaller jaws the teeth are normal in size but since the jaws are little smaller than the normal the teeth will look bigger or larger and it results in crowding so there will be insufficient arch space because the jaws are smaller than the normal so the crowding will be there and the teeth appears to be larger so it is because of the smaller jaws here it is because of the bigger jaws and the third one is focal or localized which is commonly seen in uh, third molar and it is a very rare condition mm, unlike the microdontia which is actually very common the focal or localized is very common in microdontia whereas this is uh, mm, little uh, rare in case of macrodontia so it is a very very simple topic mm, what is uh, microdontia and what is macrodontia only thing you need to uh, understand this concept that is relative generalized microdontia and relative generalized macrodontia this is only confusing terminology in this uh, developmental disturbance of size here the jaws are normal uh, larger than normal here the jaws are smaller than normal so that's all about uh, the size developmental disturbances of teeth so i'll come up with the number uh, ne in next video so the takeaway points is peg lateral so peg lateral is a focal or localized microdontia so i'll come up with the developmental disturbances of number in my next video thank you